Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys the really nice property for definite integral, and that's called the King property. I have no idea why this is called the King property. If you guys don't know why, leave a comment down below. But the property is nice though, I will show you. So here we go. If you have to integrate from a to b of a function f of x dx, this right here is actually the same as the integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx. And if you look at the inside here, this is kind of like a reflection. So this is actually really nice. I will do a quick proof on this, and I'll show you guys an example with a classic question now where you can use this property to solve definite integral for you guys. Here we go. As you can see, the right-hand side is slightly more complicated, so I will start with the right-hand side, and then I'll just do u sub, and then I'll end up with the left-hand side. So take a look of the integral from a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. Okay, here we go. I'll do u sub. Let u equal the inside, of course, a plus b minus x. And then differentiate both sides. du equals, you get 0, 0 because a and b are constants. And then the derivative of negative x is negative dx. And of course, you can divide both sides by negative. dx is equal to negative du. And now, here we go. We'll take this integral to the u world. And don't forget that these numbers are in terms of x. So we also have to take them to the u world as well. When x is a, you put it here, you see a minus a is 0, so u will be just b. So in the u world, we begin at b. Let me just write it down right here. And then if you put b right here for the x, b minus b is 0, and we will go up to a. So you see that? The limits of integration are switched, huh? OK, cool. And now let's see. This right here, we have f. And the whole thing inside is just a u. So we have f of u. And it's not nice to say f u. So please be sure you say f of u. And then dx is this. So I will put the negative all the way in the front. OK? And then the du right here, all right? And now, you see, here we have a negative. This negative allows us to switch the order of the limit, uh, uh, the order of the limit of integration. So this right here is in fact just the same as the integral from a to b, right? And even though they are in terms of u, and once again this negative allows us to do that, and then we still have f of u du. And now. Here's the deal. This right here, it's the same as that. The u, the x, doesn't matter. So I will just write it down as the integral of a to b f of x dx. And this is the reason why. Because imagine if you have to integrate from 0 to 2, uh, let's say x squared dx. You get a number for the answer. And that number represents the area under x squared. Well, isn't this the same as the integral from 0 to 2, u squared du? Of course, they are the same, because in the end, you also end up with the same number. That's why they are the same. All right, all right so we are done for this little proof. So this is nice. Now, example time. I will show you guys this really classic one. Maybe you guys can guess it already, but I will put it down anyway. The integral from 0 to pi over 2. 1 over 1 plus parentheses tangent x to the square root of, let's say, 2. <laughs> and then dx power like that. <laughs> yeah. For the people who know about this, yes, this is a really classic one. I think many of you guys have seen this before. And even though, you know, you, you can even tell me what the answer is already. But I will show you guys how to do it anyway. And you guys can also tell huh, the square root of 2 power doesn't matter in the sense that I can put whatever I want. I can put tangent x to the pi's power if I want, and the things are still going to work out nicely. I will tell you guys why. Perhaps I'll tell you guys the answer right here first. This right here is equal to pi over 4. Now, let's do it on the side, of course. Look at this integral. So. Here is the deal. 
Let me just call that integral to be i to begin with. The integral from 0 to pi over 2. And we have 1 over 1 plus tangent x square root of 2 power dx. Well, based on this, what I can do is a is 0, b is pi over 2. I know I can say this as the integral from 0 to pi over 2 because the limits of integration stays the same. And then I can do 1 over 1 plus parentheses. And instead of the x for the input, I will put down a plus b minus x for the input. In another word, we will have tangent of a plus b is just pi over 2 and then minus x. So we have pi over 2 minus x like this. Of course, still to the square root of 2 power like that. So now, this is the same as that. And the geometric reason is just the reflection. Okay, left, 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 right refle uh, reflection. So you guys can graph both. You can see that they will have the same area. And now, well, let's do some identity business. I'll do this in blue. Well, tangent of pi over 2 minus x, tangent of 90 degrees minus x is the same as cotangent because that's a cofunction identity. So we have cotangent x inside to the square root of 2 power. Well, cotangent is the same as 1 over tangent. So this right here is the same as saying 1 over tangent of x to the square root of 2 power. So let me write that down. 0 to pi over 2, 1 over 1 plus. Once again, this right here first becomes tangent, I mean cotangent of x, and becomes it becomes 1 over tangent of x. And let me just raise both sides to the square root power, which I get 1 over tangent x to the square root of 2 power, like that. Okay, so starting from this, and you get cotangent, cotangent is 1 over tangent, you have all that. And of course, we can clean the complex fraction, you get 0 to pi over 2, this becomes on the top. So tangent x to the square root of 2 power over, this goes here, which is tangent x to the square root of 2 power, and this becomes 1 dx. So in another word, this and that are the same, isn't it? Yes, yes. And now here's the deal. Not only they are the same, but the denominators are the same. The numerators are different. And if you add these two integrals up, they will become one inside of the integral. That's so nice. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. Suppose I want to figure out what that integral is. Well, of course, I'll just put on i but I want to multiply that by 2, so I can say this is the same as i plus i, isn't it? And of course, you guys can see this right here. You have the blue one, so let me just put on the blue one from 0 to pi over 2, 1 over the denominator. Let me just put that down real quick. Square tangent x to the square root of 2 power and of course the dx, and then you add the i in red, which is integral from 0 to pi over 2, and you have the top, which is tangent x to the square root of 2 power over tangent x to the square root of 2 power plus 1. Oh my god, this is a lot to write. But anyway, 1 plus this, it matches the denominator. So all in all, I can say, this right here is just the integral of from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 dx, right? Once again, this plus that is the denominator. It's the same as the denominator, so it equals to 1. And if you integrate 1 from 0 to pi over 2, you will end up with pi over 2. But this is not the answer because I want to have i, not 2i. So in another word, i is just going to be half of this guy, which is pi over 4. Very nice, very nice, very nice, which is the answer. All right, so that's pretty much it, but you guys can see that the square root of 2 doesn't matter at all. You can put whatever you want. 
It doesn't matter at all. This is going to work out nicely. And in fact, some of you guys might want to look at this as sine x over cosine x. That's okay. In that case, you can multiply top and bottom by cosine to the square root of 2 power. In that case, you actually end up with this famous one, the integral from 0 to pi over 2. Cosine x over cosine x plus sine x dx. This right here gives you pi over 4 as well. So this is like a shortcut. If you can see this is actually in this form, then that's a shortcut. Not done yet, I know. As I said, in fact, you can put whatever power that you want. You can put on the n, 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 if you would like, right? So <laughs> this is just a case when n is square root of 2.